Suspects accused of hindering prosecution and the murder of Samuel Dixon were in court today. The two accused in his murder were also in court. Dixon was a member of the Devil's Disciples motorcycle gang. His body was found in a roadside ditch September 12th. Fox 10 News reporter Hal Sherrick has details from the hearing. Mary Kate Hockett, Ruth Ann Boyles, Charles Ozer, and Bruce Talbot were all in court today, seated next to murder suspects Adam Mayton and Fred Weiss, seen in black and white stripes. Investigators say the four lied or withheld information related to the September shooting death of Samuel Dixon of Milton, Florida. Dixon was a member of the Devil's Disciples motorcycle gang. Prosecutors say fellow gang members Maiden and Weiss killed Dixon following an argument inside a gang party house near Wilcox Road. Police say both men turned themselves in three days after the shooting and admitted to the murder. Investigators say Weiss has been implicated as the shooter and Maiden's attorney wants his client's charge reduced. Completely not guilty. The only thing he's guilty of is being in the room where somebody else got shot. That's all we've heard today. District Attorney Hallie Dixon says that because Mayton was present when Dixon was killed, his role in the crime was just as criminal and the charge of murder should stand. Uh, he turned himself in, saying he was there to turn himself in on a murder. Uh, it was then later figured out what murder and all of the evidence is consistent that he was present um, during the murder and not just at the party but within the actual trailer and where the murder occurred. Um, as well as uh, multiple statements from other witnesses that put him there. Prosecutors say the other four defendants played roles in covering up the crime by either buying cleaning materials or actually cleaning up the crime scene. Investigators found traces of blood throughout Weiss's Suburban. The party house near Wilcox Road where investigators believe Dixon was shot was set on fire after the murder. Dixon's body was found a few miles away in a ditch. Investigators say there were tire tracks consistent with a dually pickup belonging to Bruce Talbot at the scene. Talbot was not a member of the motorcycle gang, but lives across the street from the party house, and investigators say he wanted to be part of the group. Talbot's attorney maintains his client's innocence. They're basically saying it was his truck that, the, that transported the body. Correct, but there's also, there was also testimony from the detective that it was a quote-unquote communal truck, that the keys were left in the vehicle and it was often used by other people. And as far as cleaning it, he was said to be seen cleaning the truck out, yeah, making they, purchases? They, they, they've got information as, as to that, but I'm not going to comment on it. Defense attorneys for all six suspects entered several motions today, some for a reduction in charges and all for a reduction in bond. Judge Jody Bishop is expected to rule on those motions at a later date. Reporting from Bay Manette, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. District Attorney Hallie Dixon says the investigation into the murder is dynamic and ongoing. She said it's very possible that more arrests could come.